Director, producer, and author Justine Bateman has been working in Hollywood for more than 30 years, so she's used her platform to share her views on aging, both in her 2021 book Face and the accompanying film. Yeah, now her recent interview with 60 Minutes Australia has reignited that conversation. Let's take a look. Well, when you say, is there beauty in aging, aren't you really saying, do you think it's possible for other people to find aging beautiful? And like, I just don't give a Like, I think I look rad. I think my face represents who I am. Uh, I like it. And so that's basically the end of the road. Girl, you have everyone in the choir singing amen, but I think a lot of women go through their life this morning, they put on extra moisturizer. They got offended if someone didn't look them, you know, didn't, I don't know, maybe make a comment or whatever. But I feel like we're all trying to live the life you're describing. But when reality hits and mm. you feel like, why didn't I get promoted or why did I get overlooked? Sometimes we think it's because of our looks. That's interesting that you put it that way because uh, I think oftentimes uh, if, we, if we want something to change in our world, We'd, ra we'd like the reason to be something we feel like we have control over, mm. which is like, this is the way anorexics think too. If only I, if I lose 15 pounds or get down to X number, you know, anyway, mm -hmm. then, then everything around, else around me will change. Mm. That's not how life works. Yeah. Like good things are coming your way, whether, whether you change your face or not. So like, what are you doing? What are you trying to, anyway, it's all about yeah. fear. Yeah. The other thing you talk about, which I think is so true, and, and I, I try to think about this, is like we have one life. Mm -hmm. We don't have that long here. And mm -hmm. if you're spending, uh, and you know, I, and I think we can all say, I know that I've spent time beating myself up or mm -hmm. feeling bad about something that is not even in my control. Mm -hmm. If you're spending half your time worried about the way you look, mm -hmm. it's like, what else are you not doing? Mm -hmm. I know. It it's taking up a lot of time. Did, um, you, ever, did you ever think like, Worry no, about the way you looked or anything? Well, I definitely, I mean, uh, criticisms of my mm -hmm. face definitely pushed a button in me mm -hmm. that didn't have anything to do with my face. So mm -hmm. in my first book, Fame, there's a chapter called Acid that goes into like how I process that out and what it was really about. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about this. It mm -hmm. was about something else. Um, and that prompt, and once I got on the other side of that, then, then I wrote the book because I wanted to look at, like, in society, like, where do we even get the idea that women's faces are broken and have to be fixed? Right. It's, yeah. It's, it's psychotic. Yeah. The idea is psychotic, and it's, and I think the suggested solutions are barbaric. Yeah. Uh, yeah. which is not to say anybody who's already done anything to them, fine. Again, forget mm -hmm. your face. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Forget it. Yeah. But take the opportunity to get at the fear that if you if it, you did it because it was a there was a fear in you, then just get rid of that that's fear. Button, yeah, that's though. interesting. That's the that's, well, so you're talking about the fear. So if you were going to try to let someone know what the fear is, what's something you can say, or how do you figure it out? Exactly. Well, for afraid? me, it's like uh, for me, it was uh, I'm afraid if people think I look old, then therefore, and I had a therefore. They had nothing to do with my face. Yeah. And for someone, it might be they're afraid that they're never going to get a mate or they're afraid their mate will leave them or they're afraid that uh, they won't get a job or they'll lose the job they've got or that people aren't going to listen to them anymore, something right. like that. Something like that, yeah. And I'm saying that fear was already in you before your face. That wasn't changed. about your, yeah, that wasn't it about was, how you... It has nothing to do with... So you were already afraid of that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. go deal with that. Like, journal that. Go to a therapist. Like, but what whatever. What about the practical sense that some people do not get jobs? Sometimes you do age out of things where they say, yeah. But maybe maybe you aged out of that job and they don't want to hire you because you're so experienced they know they're going to have to pay you. Yeah, uh -huh. totally. So right. they'd so rather hire somebody totally. young so it's not about who can have an entry-level a... salary. Totally. Right. You know what I mean? There are other... How you look at it. And also... You probably have another opportunity coming your way. Mm -hmm. You need to be out of this so you're available for this other thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, and to me, in life, you always trade up. There's always something better. And even if it's like a, a fallow time where mm -hmm. there's not a lot going on, mm -hmm. there's something in that. There's something happening 
you're never not moving up in your life, mm -hmm. no matter what the situation is. Mm -hmm. You just got to look at, like, get a different perspective on yeah. it because something cool is happening in your something life. Something cool, yeah. Kid, really quickly, kids, social media, yeah. girls. We have young, yes. young girls. I, this is what I'd say to girls. It's, I can't cuss on here, <laughs> but it's an effing lie. Yeah. It's a lie that there's something wrong with your face. There's nothing wrong with your mm -hmm. face. Don't let it distract you from all the things that are coming your way. Totally. Right, your purpose. Totally. Don't yeah. let it distract you from your track. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with your face. So now that that's solved, now what are you doing in your but life? But with like social you said, media like, and waste. all of that. Well, then get, it's yeah, get off of social it. media so Yeah, don't much. compare. Yeah. <laughs> it's not real. Yeah. Right. Social right. media isn't real. Yeah. That's really so the truth. That is, you can live yes. here or you yeah, can yeah, live. Yeah. You can live like, totally. I'm not on social media right now. Yeah. I mean, look what we're yeah, doing, doing here. Or travel. Yeah. yeah. Or you'll never have fewer responsibilities. Young people will never have yeah. fewer yes, responsibilities so than they've got right now. Yeah. Go travel. Right. Go learn a language. Go... You know, Sing. take a cooking class. Yeah, I mean, totally. what, so, you know, like yeah. instead of worrying about the way yeah. we look all the yeah. time, yeah. and stop. And you're here for this long, and nobody's going to remember you, which is a freedom. Nobody's going to remember me, so I don't have to defend a brand mm. that's going to live on after me. <laughs> Forget it. What am I? <laughs> I'm going to waste my time defending something that's never going to. Here's here's an example. You go down Hollywood Boulevard and you've got all these stars in the sidewalk, right? Now, I'm in the business, so I should know all these people, right? <laughs> now, at some point, these people were famous enough to get a star yeah. or had enough money to buy one. <laughs> okay, that's a whole other thing, right? Because the people know, right? You just yeah, we know them. that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know two-thirds of these people. Right. So... No one's going to remember you, so enjoy your enjoy. life. Stop defending a brand that's not going to live past you. Oh, my thank gosh, you. Justine. That was good. We feel free. Yes. Thank you, thank you Justine. All right, thank you so much. Come